In our last video, we learned how to calculate straight line depreciation. So now let's look at how we actually record it using journal entries. This is always done on the last day of the reporting period, which is called balance day. And depreciation is an expense. So its ledger has the same rules of debits and credits as other expenses. And it goes up, it's a debit. And when it goes down, it's a credit. So every period we charge depreciation for an asset and as such over time it's going to accumulate. So what we can do is look at depreciation and say well over time it kind of gathers or collates together in a big pot or tub and we're going to call that accumulated depreciation. So let's say in 2015 we depreciated $2,000 of a non-current asset. Well a little bit accumulates down in the depreciation pot below. After two years, we charge another $2,000 depreciation where you can see that we've accumulatively charged $4,000. In the third year, we charge two. So now accumulated depreciation is six. And in the fourth year, two. And in the fifth year, another $2,000. So you can see over time, the accumulated depreciation kept on rising and rising and rising. And that represents the total amount of depreciation charged over the asset's useful life. As such, we're actually going to need another ledger. So we've got depreciation, which goes up on the debit side and down on the credit side. Well, its entries need to be matched up with another ledger. And what we're going to do is create what's called accumulated depreciation. As you can see, it's actually a negative asset. So it's really the only negative asset we deal with in the course. And therefore, it means it's got the exact opposite rules of an asset. So it'll go up on the credit side, but down on the debit side. So looking at the example we just did where we said $2,000 of depreciation was charged in the first year, well that means we do a debit to the expense and every debit needs a credit. So where does it pull or accumulate? We put it in accumulated depreciation. Now at the end of that year, we'll need to reset the depreciation expense by closing it, the profit and loss summary to calculate our profit. So we learned that in chapter 10. And what we'll do is charge another $2,000 in 2016 so we need to debit our expense, but then that'll accumulate down in the negative asset. Reset depreciation to zero. So in next uh, financial year in 2017, we'll charge another $2,000 and then we'll accumulate that in 2017. Charge another $2,000 in 2018 and then accumulate that in the negative asset. And in the final year, we charge another $2,000 of depreciation in order to figure out, out our profit and that accumulates down in accumulated depreciation. So you can see in the expense, we allocate the expense each period. That'll then get reset to zero to calculate our profit. And in the negative asset, it continues over time. It would go on the balance sheet. It's a negative asset. We assume it will go on into the future. So therefore, it doesn't reset each period. It just accumulates each um, uh, period's depreciation to the previous total. So which journal are we going to do all this in? Um, is it going to be the cash receipts journal? Well, no cash is received, so it won't be that one. There's no cash being paid, so it won't be the payments journal. There's no credit sale. There's no credit purchase of stock. So we're going to have to use our miscellaneous journal, our general journal, and we're going to need to do a memo or use a memo to record it. So looking at our general journal, we just recorded at the end of 2015 a debit to depreciation of vehicle. We did a credit to what was called accumulated depreciation of vehicle. So that matched up with our debits and our credits. And we do an oration, which we'll speak about in a second, but just looking at the ledgers, it's very important to have the name of the asset being depreciated in the title. Because we're gonna have more than one non-current asset, we might have vehicle, property, machinery, we need to put the name of that asset in the ledger uh, title. And therefore in our referencing, we need to make sure it says accumulated depreciation of vehicle and depreciation of vehicle. Looking at the uh, narration, let's make sure we give a detailed description. Let's describe the type of asset, which is a vehicle, the number of periods for which it's been depreciated, so a whole 12 months, the method that's been used, which is straight line, and then the memo number. So that's a detailed description, and we're going to get full marks if we give that as our narration. Looking at depreciation in the real world, you can see businesses here. JB Hi-Fi has got depreciation expense every year in its income statement. So you can see in 2012, it was about 19 million for the plant equipment, 11.5 million for the leasehold improvements. Then in the balance sheet, we've got the cost. So the buildings or the plant equipment was 151 million. We've accumulated 45 million of depreciation, and that leaves unused economic benefits of 106,000. Same with Pacific Brands. We've got our buildings, their costs, 
how much has been depreciated accumulatively and that leaves the carrying value at the end.